What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing King of Fighters All-Stars. As you can see after the collab, this is our next event going on. Hopeful Hotaru. She's been released and she's singing in our lobby right now. I've already leveled her up to level 90 as she's a blue unit and I already um, had souls for her. So, Hopeful Hotaru. We're gonna look at her. I already have her level 90. I already um awakened her. Not awakened her. Let me break her all the way out. Um as we can see she's gonna be a defense type. Um and let's go ahead and look at her skills real quick. Can be used when knocked down when the airborne. She got that EX boost. Awaken mode, of course. Exploding energy palm. Let's see what her type is. I think she hits. Um, applies the harmony effect. So it's a new effect, apparently. I don't think that existed on all female teammates. Oh, okay, she did on female teammates. And on the act of two, she does lightning. So she gets some lightning and shock right there. And then on her act of three, she's gonna get Discord. Decreases the attack and increases her damage and increase, increases their damage received. So let's go ahead and look at her skills real quick. All right. This blow energy poem looks like this. Dual advancing poem. Then we got Shoujo Tai. My gosh. I like her. This is so cool. I, I mean, I like her. Let's go to her other one, Dizzy Rising Maiden. Oh, hold on now, Otaru. I mean, I gotta see that one again. What the crap? She kicks some lands on them and smashes their head? Whoa. Oh, that's some magical girl type stuff right here. I like it though. All right, so we have some missions out with her release or with this event release. We got the Otaro Lucky Mission and the Itokatsu Lucky Mission. So, and this one you're gonna be doing like a lot of regular stuff that we already do, like purchase from the secret shop, um, use auto clear ticket, so quest, dispatch, power, just daily missions pretty much. And then you got Salvage fighter souls, which of course you should be doing it every so often anyway. Then and the other one, which is going to be the yellow, yellow coins, you got to do guild level stuff. Looks like well, no, I see one guild thing. Then the other one is battle card, soul dust exchange, imprint stone, and then guild raid, guild boss. So. Yeah, some easy stuff, guys. You probably be doing these things all day, so I mean every day. So you playing the game every day, just logging in, doing those things. You should be able to do this event easily, and then okay, then you're gonna have like whatever tokens you get. So I got two thousand right now from doing it yesterday when it opened up. Um, I didn't finish all. Of, I didn't go finish doing all my days yesterday, but I did get some. So you're gonna get this, and you want these little. Uh, tokens right here, but you also can get a lot of these other things on here, like uh, tokens, I mean, summon tokens and tickets. And you no, know, if you miss landing on the main thing, and it's for the same for the other one, too. So you got two boards that you have to clear or get the tokens off of. And then we're gonna go into the exchange shop over here. And you get to get souls for her. So she should be an easy character to, to build. I don't know what she's going to be um, used. What mode she's going to be 
most helpful for in yet but and with this as you see the random mystery bosses over here they've already basically said hey guys this is just a warm up so volume 8 of EX has already been announced in a sense can't hide it from us now not that they were trying to so I think you're going to want to put your extra tokens in this so you're either going to go hard for her souls I think get her souls get her special and then look to get whatever um, stones because her stones might be pretty good for her I don't know if they're gonna be good for anybody else, but they're gonna be good for her. And then you wanna put whatever extra stuff you got into the random mystery box. So this is gonna take a little bit of grinding, guys, a little bit of finessing, you know, as I say. And I think that's all for this update. Oh, the Hotaru Battle Pass is going on too. So if you're gonna unlock that, you do get some boxes on the second stage. On the normal stage, I don't think you get any bosses as normal. They don't give us free to play people or anything who don't want to touch this, but I think you can. No, nope, you can't unlock this. You gotta unlock the five dollars. And see, that's the difference between other games. They let you purchase with your currency in game. Like Epic Seven, which I've seen, yeah, I've probably seen that on my channel. Some of the passes you can purchase with your in-game currency like they don't make it be where everything is purchasable with money only i think a lot of gacha games need to take that into take that into hand that hey you got free to play people playing like how do we keep our player base here our free to play player base here like we only wanted money player base we should just stamp the price tag on it from the beginning but anyway guys i'm I, i'm not gonna keep um ranting here i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you guys are gonna grind for this character it's an easy free play character um see you guys in the next video